first time I'm recording a video in English. It's not my first language, but I wanted to share the process of this series of character illustrations I did for um, for fun for my Instagram account. Uh, it's of these ladies from other eras in Europe. I wanted to draw the basic clothing for each era uh, to women. And uh, the, the first one is medieval and the second is like 16th century. The third one is 17th century. The fourth one is 18th century. And the fifth one is 19th century. Uh, of course, there were there were several variation to clothing in every century, but I just wanted to draw one example of clothing of each era. And uh, the reason I did this was mostly to study the garments that we used to wear uh, here in the Occidental world in, in our past, just for the sake of research into clothing and uh, yeah, to get a better understanding of our history because I think for becoming a successful illustrator one of the things that we have to consider is research and uh, like beautiful well-constructed clothing in characters because um, that's a very important part of designing and creating and building image. So, like, I I just I just fi found out that there were several fashion history YouTubers and they like make historical clothing, especially women's historical clothing. So I wanted to learn from them and then draw the garments that they were making. I used mainly Prior Attire, it's, a, it's an YouTuber, her name is Prior Attire here on YouTube and uh, she sewed historical garments and, uh, and I took her, mostly her, as like inspiration for the clothing you see here in this speed paint. Yeah, I just sort of created my own version, perhaps some some things are not historically accurate, I don't. I just wanted to create a fun, a very well researched illustration. And uh, the the girls, you see, they are all like either middle class or working class women. So yeah, it's like the basic garment that every girl wore in the past. I, I really like to make like princessy illustrations and yeah very feminine girls type of art and it felt like I should at one point do actual research on what people in the old times actually were or whatever. I didn't record the sketching process because I forgot, uh, and I, I I just had right now the idea of creating a YouTube channel because uh, I had some free time between freelance work that I do, and uh, I thought it would be like a, a good extra work that I could do to improve my skills and keep drawing, and sharing with people, and showing my work to others. So that's what I did.
actually an example of the garment that I took as inspiration. I also took the color palette and added some colors, but yeah, the reason I did that was that it is a very effective technique to color is to color sample from a picture that you think is appealing and just like yeah maybe adding some new colors but it usually makes for a very cohesive picture if you just like decide a color palette that you look good and I don't think there's any shame in copying color palettes because you learn a lot from that I definitely did. I'm not very good at painting yet. I mostly do storyboards. I work in the animation industry and I'm not very used to doing very finished stuff and I'm trying to change that right now and practice drawing more finished illustrations but I'm not very good at coloring so that's a good hack. And uh, yeah, I just right now I'm just filling in every little gap. And uh, before I was just like painting very loosely over the top of everything, and now I'm like refining it. And one thing that I've learned is that by looking at like professional illustrations, is that a lot of them don't even do shading, or if they do, it's very minimal because the truth is your liner and your a simple cohesive color scheme actually already makes a very realistic painting so I don't do much shadows I tried to make this sort of scenario where they were just standing on a field or whatever, you know, like generic ground. But yeah, I thought it looked really ridiculous and I just ended up changing it and just picking up a color that, that I often use on my Instagram for, for like, yeah, maintaining my visual identity or whatever. But I do that later. Later. Right now I'm, I'm shading, like, I'm doing mostly the most um, important shading, I don't know, uh, like the shadings that always exist, like between the folds and under your skirt, you know, those shadings that are always there. Um, but I don't do much shading, and then I later actually did a little bit of shading, but it was very subtle. Yeah, I added a filter at the end um, to make it more complex <laughs> or something like that. And that's it, that's the result. Um, I think they look very cool in their personalities and it shows how yeah, different the styles were, the attitude were, in my opinion. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching subscribe for more speed things I will be drawing more and posting here thanks for listening uh, yeah goodbye nice to meet you